The parents of the 41-year-old Princess of Wales sold their company because of financial problems. Carol Middleton and Michael Middleton owed their partners £2.6 million. The couple made their fortune selling party supplies. Through this they were able to pay for their three children to attend Marlborough College for £42,930 a year, as well as buy a £4.7 million mansion in Berkshire. However, in the coronavirus pandemic, business at Party Pieces Holdings went from bad to worse. As a result, the parents of the future queen consort did not pay their debts. According to a report from administrators trying to recover money from the firm, the amount owed is now estimated at £2.6 million. It includes £218,749 to RBS Bank for a business interruption loan because of the pandemic, £456,008 to other creditors and £1.4 million in unsecured loans. The report says it is unlikely the Middletons will recover the money among those affected as party pieces landlord, Lord Alife, in whose Berkshire estate the company has been based for years. The businessman's agent, James Hole, said the company owed them £57,480. These are serious financial implications for my client. They were long-term tenants. We were staggered by the amounts owed to others, the manager noted. Another creditor said his company negotiated at length with the couple's representatives but realized it was hopeless. The amount they owe the IRS overshadows everything else. That's why we have no hope of getting the money back, given their debt to the public purse. The administrator's report indicates that the Princess of Wales' parents' company owes tax collectors a total of £613,000, a claim that must be settled before any of the firm's small creditors can be paid. Understandably, the owners of Sultani Gas, who supplied the couple with helium for balloons, are shocked. What hurt me the most was that I trusted Carol as the mother-in-law of the future king, and she just betrayed me. This is completely unacceptable, the businessman reported. The Middletons, for their part, said quarantine and the cost-of-living crisis caused the bankruptcy, which caused a sharp decline in sales and cash flow problems.